Now I'm blushing. You can't see because my ring light is so bright. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jessica Veal. Hi, I'm Melanie Linsky, and IMDb has asked us to ask each other anything. Well done. That's Betty. She's dead. How did you approach uh, portraying a, a real person? What was your process? My process first was to do as much research as I possibly could. What was she like as a child and in college and then after college? And I really wanted to understand how she got to the moment in time where we were looking at. What about you? <laughs> well, um, I also wanted to learn as much as I could. And then also, you know, because we're telling like a fictionalized version of it, at a certain point, you have to create something that is kind of a character, right? You have to play mm -hmm. scenes and let it go a little bit and just be like, okay, I've done my work. I'm being as true to this person as I can be. And then you just have to sort of be in the moment, which is something that you are so amazing at, at just being in the moment and being present. It's one of my favorite things about you as an actor. You're just a sweetheart. Mel, what was the toughest of many tough days to shoot? There were a lot of tough days now that I think about it. Probably the most challenging day was when we filmed the fight that led to Betty's murder. It was really emotional for both of us. It was. The day that was also hard for me was um, the courtroom. Something happened in the schedule. It was like a Thursday. And mm -hmm. I was planning on using that weekend to go through all those lines. And then we had to do it on the Friday. And I, had, I, I told Mike, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. And he was like, well, we can change it if you want. And I said, of course, people pleaser. Yeah. I can, I can do it. <laughs> and you did. Oh. That was hard. That was a that was a tough one. Are you okay? I'm fine. Yes, I think I know the answer to this. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do at the end of the day to shake off the intensity of everything we were going through? Well, you you do know the answer to this because you also do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> we drink wine. Yeah, we have a glass like, of wine. Like mothers do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice quiet time, glass of wine. What wine goes with a murder? A Barolo. Oh, that's actually the best answer. <laughs> great murder wine and also a great like reward at the end of the day wine. Mm -hmm. She knows. What do you think you we learned about each other as actors? I, I know this is an interesting question. Um, it's always fun for me to work with an actor where you feel like you're you're creating something together and not just mm -hmm. come in with a preconceived idea of what they want it to look like and you have to try to fit your performance into that. So just the freedom that you had and the spontaneity and, and how present you are. I, I honestly could talk about it for a very long time. <laughs> I just, I loved it. What I learned about working with you, well, first of all, I have been a massive fan for forever. And you have such an incredible ability to bring so much power and evoke so much emotion with absolute stillness. And I just think that is such a quality that that not too many people have. And I just, I just feel like you do it without pushing ever. You never push. It's never false. Well, I feel the same about you and now I'm blushing. You can't see because my ring light is so bright. 